Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a very delicious blood orange orange juice. Would you drop one of the oranges for that sentence? I'm really not too sure. Anyway, welcome back to the game in the previous episode. More progress and a lot more gang stuff. There's so much graffiti all over this place, especially in the uh, canteen here. So in this episode, I want to do a couple of things. There's a couple of odd jobs I need to look at. And mainly, though, we're going to be working on the canteen. So it's currently free time, going up to 12 o'clock. And once that happens, everybody will go to their cells. And that will give us time to hopefully redesign this in one session because what I want to do is split it into three so we're gonna have to do the maths on that before I do that however I do want to uh, fix the glaring hole here or rather the lack of a, um, a, a door <laughs> we just don't have uh, said hole uh, remote door yes that's fine I've already put in the remote control system so we can actually open that and have people go over there so you know that'll be good for us and we also have looks to be three guards here who are attending the classroom which is yeah still absolutely massively loud for some strange reason guard tears of certification on the go two in the queue and then disarming certification as well danger level is going up mainly because I'm guessing James is going through the uh, the process of solitary confinement. Let me just see. Yep, there they are there. Anyway, over to here, and actually what I'll do is pause it, go to planning, and then to walls, and I want to plan this off. So obviously we have three gangs, and that means we want three, um, three of these individual areas for canteens. However, we do have still some considerations to make. Firstly, obviously this is... We're going to have to have the entrance over here so the people in the kitchen can actually still function and get to there very quickly. And obviously this is going to be a lot shorter. So what is the size of this one? It is 28. So considering the walls, we're going to be... Hmm. It won't be identical. I'm guessing 8, 8, 9? Uh, let's go for 8 on that side. Let's just assume we're going to have it as 8. And then say 8 there. Then across, and in the middle, it'll be a... Oh, 10, of course. Um, and, I mean, we could shrink it down to that and that. But then you're going to have... Yeah. Oh, actually. So that's 9 to there. I'm going to go for 9 to there. Then an internal of 8. Ah, that is a little bit more balanced then, isn't it? So we've got one side is 9. The other side, internal, is 9. Then the middle is 8. Now, these... We'll go... What I'm going to do is just draw a box around it just so I can get a better idea of what we will be doing here. So that is going to be that. So this will have the entrance where it is here. The walls will go like... Yeah, you've got them there. We'll have a wall there and a wall in there because that will have a door. I know it's really difficult to see. I apologise, but it's going to go there. And it'll be a similar thing here. So we'll have a, a door that's always open then the remote door, which means these doors I'll bring down here so it's less for these guys to go through for this I guess we'll have to have an entrance like that which is not ideal I could shift it to one side I could also make these more centralized but I think where they are is acceptable so that's all right in terms of objects then you could have them as uh, three by it's three by four each of these cells I mean we've got we have 90 shared capacity, so each one has to have 30. So we've got 8, 16, 32. We've already got more on each one of these than required, so we can put that like that. On this side, we could do something like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then you've got all of this side here to open up with like phone booths and such. The middle one is going to be a little bit left out. Uh, and serving tables will have to go along the top and then along this side. Yeah, this is all very doable. I'm actually a lot more confident now than what I was about five minutes ago when I was originally thinking of doing this. So, dismantle objects. Let's get this done. I'm going to dismantle all of the tables and chairs or benches and um, other things there. Um, we will remove all of that and these and these and those and we also need to put in some CCTV so that is now ordered to be removed oh sorry also uh, it'll be objects right to the bottom here dismantle the objects which will go right across like so and then also we want to demolish the walls which will be technically not <laughs> ironically not that one 
and there, those like that. Okay, let's crack on. We have staff members, um, I'm going to bring us up to 16 just to get that built sooner rather than later. In terms of management, we're not doing too bad. Lots of fights and I have been very much missing the, uh, the demands, so apologies for that. I'm going to try to, uh, be a bit more on top of it. We've got Mark Tries here who is fighting... Fighting, fighting the uniform. They really do not like the uniform. Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing this is just because of, yeah, general people kicking off and such for the, uh, yeah, for the means in solitary confinement. There, just going to double check our intelligence and gangs. Yeah, that's as to be expected. And they're all confidential apart from this guy who, uh, oh, we've got Mikey here as our informant there and looks like these are kicking off so let's just go for guard response one two three let's just see if we can get that sorted i'm just going to double check the patrols as well so over to our deployment and guards we have an armed guard assigned up there which is fine armed guard armed guard we don't have an armed guard down here which i will now fix i also probably want to assign guards I don't really need to assign them, actually, because they generally hang around security anyway, so it's not too much of a problem. Um, we do have our dog patrols that go all the way around here. However, I don't know. Are they are they good enough? Mm, I might have to alter that later on. We'll see. Anyway, we'll unpause that and let these guys crack on. We can see we are removing a lot of this stuff in here. Then they'll go to store it. Um, incident reports. Many people are waiting. Solitary, yes. Gang welfare is a... Uh, Grant, which is successfully reformed 15 gang members, and there's even more fighting in here. I bet if we... Where is Evans? Evans is... Oh, they're not actually there. Interesting. Two gang, gang members are mad because of the graffiti. Yeah, that's, I guess, understandable. Let me just assign a couple more guards here. So not say assign, just... Um... There's a Polaroid there. <laughs> is that playing on a games console? Yeah handheld at that but yeah we'll put some people over there with the guard response in terms of the staffing i know there's been several comments saying we should put more staff in the cell blocks the whole idea is to have them remote and not in there unless they absolutely have to go in there um in reality it doesn't really work out because obviously they have to they have to go through different doors to get there and stuff. But the, the idea is there, and we're trying to manage it as best we can, I guess. Um, in terms of staffing as well, 40 guards, 7 armed guards. I think we could go with a couple more. I'm going to get up to 10 there, just because we have a lot of people assigned anyway. 4 doctors, 8 cooks, 5 janitors, 8 dog handlers. I think that is more than acceptable. And this has been pretty much almost all removed by the look of it as well that's that's pretty good sadly only four grand so i may have to take out a bank loan however our credit rating is absolutely brilliant and yeah that is all okay so that seems to be working let's go ahead and go to walls and doors doors over to our jail door here jail door no large jail door large jail door will go there we also need to place in the door servo which will go just above that like so over to our walls as well and concrete wall will go there there and then right across one bit there as well followed by those sections and the rest of it is all in anywhere and that should be that pretty much sorted we'll probably have to redesignate this but what i'm going to do is just remove the designation of the canteen it's just going to be easier for when we redesignate it later on we'll also have to put this flooring in because otherwise it's just going to say it's uh, it's wrong so <laughs> we'll see about that as well um this definitely needs to be staff only uh, which I will now sort, so is that one, these bits are fine, down the bottom and top are okay, and yeah, that seems to be, that seems to be alright, so it's just a bit of time then, until a lot of this is done, danger level is still flying up, we'll check the needs there, needs, a bit of an exercise needs, some luxuries as expected, but pretty much sorted, large amount of contraband as well, so, hmm, we'll have to keep an eye on that one, and this, all of these, uh, no canteens assigned. Oh, of course, there's no canteens assigned to any of them because, well, we don't have technically a canteen. Anyway, I'm going to speed up to max speed and we can see that 
the workers are coming along to build all of that. <laughs> Let me just focus on actually building the canteen. I think that would be a more desirable thing for them to build. That jail door is there. Actually, yeah, I don't need to place that remote servo, do I? Let me cancel the remote servo. Um, but that does need to be built, which is fine. The wall will go along there. Over to our canteen. Obviously, they're not going to get fed this morning, but, well, it's not too much of an issue. They've, they've had um, food last night, so... <laughs> It sounds horrible. No, they don't need to be fed. They've had a, they've had food last night. Yeah, it's just, it's just a starved day. This one. It's just. Uh... <laughs> anyway, over to flooring and then to the white tiles. The reason I'm doing this is I believe the game will very much not like it if I try to. Oh no, it's actually fairly happy with those three. Those are two at the moment designations anyway. Over to rooms and then to the canteen. We can s set aside that and this section. All of that, this, and the end sections there. I'm not doing these bits because I just, I just generally don't do it for, for whatever reason or another. And that's now in. We'll have to do the doors as well. So it is a set of remote doors in the middle, I believe. Are those are remote doors. Those are, I think, are remote doors. And that's probably what we'll... We'll try and stick with, so we'll go with the utilities, a door servo, one there, and then one in there, followed by, obviously, the doors as well, so a remote door goes there and there, followed by a standard jail door, which will go either side. I'm noticing as well, there's got some lighting issues, we'll have to sort that out, but we've already got enough to crack on with and build, so, yeah, looks to be... Hmm, some sort of play going on here. Whoa, they're just beating up this guard, are they? Guard response, please. Although... <laughs> it seems to be that... Uh, Carolina, she managed to take out two people and going for a third. She really wasn't messing around. Uh, it looks like Harvey's destroying stuff, but I think the armed guard will probably just taser them. Looks like they shout at them. Stop that. Pack that in. Cease and assist. No, tears it. Cool. Right, done. Uh, that's that job fit sorted. Oh, more fighting in here as well. Uh, we've got the the laser sights from the snipers there. Anyway, I'm just going to double check our regime. We've got eat coming up, which we don't actually need. So I'm just going to change it to free time. Then we'll have eat here. But what I'll do is I'll put on a quite big meal. So it's going to be a high quantity, high variety meal. Because if we check our needs, we can see that there are a little, some medium food needs for about 20 prisoners. So it's not really a critical thing, is it? So, yeah. Anyway, the canteen, let's get this pretty much sorted. So for the canteen, we have our benches. And um, how do I want to place these benches in. I did have the plans, but I'm going to redo them here. So it's going to be uh, one, two, three, then four. So we can try and fit a fifth in, but we just don't need to. So what I'll do is I'll scoot it along a little bit, just so there's a bit more room for them to come around. I think that is... Is that reasonable? I don't think I'm being unreasonable. But anyway, let's place all of these things in here. Um, I'm going to put them in like I think that's right but that's why I tend to do uh, the benches and the things separate um, so that's fine we could now this is where we have to think about how am I going to do this so this is where the food's going to come around here and I could have the serving tables on that side but if I have them on this side it means that it's direct stretch from there so I want probably probably them in like that I think that's correct. I think that's correct. Just so, I'm just following what's placed above. And is that in line with... No, it's not in line with that. We have to have it as... No, cancel that. A bit further along. Yeah, that's more reasonable. And cancel that one to go there. Tables. They're in. And there's always room for expansion in this one, by the look of it, too. So that's alright. And then, serving tables. 
I'll place them in one, two, three, four, leaving the gaps for things like, um, well, we could put CCTV in one corner. Don't want the four like that. Hmm, that doesn't really fit. I could put it there, though. Oh, that fits in brilliantly. Oh, that's happening. Uh, one, two, three, four. Right. That's that sorted. And we will lock open that one and have in a metal detector. Like that. Okay, good. So, we still have to do the reform through education initiative. Large amount of contraband and cell block C. Looks like some players being made here. They're organising something. It's gang business. Some sort of gang business. Money's not great, must confess. But, it appears that we've got... Ah, this, ready to work. So everybody's trying to get in now, now that they can actually go inside it. Place that. Those have not been placed yet. But, this is now in. Which means, they can now work in the mailroom. Good. Happy with that. Uh, we did receive some more prisoners, I should point out. And I wasn't really looking at who they are. There's there's one there. That's Pierce. Ten Vipers, 18 Bone Breakers, six Jackals. The Jackals really have had a, an unfortunate run of things, haven't they? Oh, what a shame. Never mind. Uh, let's have a quick look at our programs. We are running staff programs. That's fine. Foundation Education is running with people uh, happily on that. Behavioural Therapies in the queue. Six finish, 0% pass rate. I'm not convinced it's even worth running. Alcohol Scoop Therapy, we're going to keep running that. Pro, we've got loads of space for it. Spiritual Guidance is good. Tattoo Removal, we do have. I believe it's the gang leader, Evans. Yep, there they are. They are attending that class. But as we can see, yeah, it, it sort of stops. By the way, there's been a lot of requests to... Assign this guy to, well, the say solitary, but and another area, but basically up here. And what that would do is stop any players because they wouldn't be able to interact with any of their. I don't need to deal with anything that's already happening. Um, yes, that would stop any of this from occurring. Um, traditionally, that's what we have done in past series. We have had a set an area specifically that's like supermax, and we assign those to it. Um, yeah, it is possible. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of a test. I'm going to assign those to protective custody, which means immediately they will be then brought to here. Change cell. I will go to choose new cell. And I'm going to select that one there. Um, I've right clicked. So hopefully they'll be assigned. Unless they can't be assigned. We'll see what happens. This obviously is the correct deployment. Whether or not that will work or not, I don't know. Because in the past, I've seen them doing things like the tattoo removal program or doing other things. He's doing gang rehabilitation. Brilliant. Um, but they've, they've been assigned to do something. But they're still doing the gang stuff as well. So, yeah, it's a curious thing. Let me do some cleanup on this gang graffiti. Because it's, it's getting a little... Just a little bit out of hand, quite frankly. Looks like the mail is getting sorted. Looks like the laundry is getting laundered. Looks like the canteen is getting built. One prisoner unable to be assigned to a cell. It's because it's uh, we've got, in terms of intake, fill capacity. And it's we've got 89 maximum security, but 90 shared. So it should be... It should be should be able to assign that, to be honest. Because it only brings it up to the safe capacity. Unavailable, uh, unavailable Supermax prisoners and one Legendary if we want to do. I think we've got enough Legendary to to do us, quite frankly. <laughs> anyway, we're going to speed up to max speed because uh, building has been... Uh, lock open. Building has been ordered, so it's just a matter of time now. I don't even know if that... These doors will open. I'll have, to, I'll have to lock them open so they can actually build things for the time being. So there's Evans, who is now in here. And they are shouting for luxuries. But, yeah, the 
lieutenants, the second in commands, are still making plays. So we'd most likely have to assign all of those to their own separate gang bit, where we'd have the gang leaders and the second in commands there, which would be this bottom bit. So I didn't think that this would work. But we're going to keep them there just as a test. It, it doesn't fit, sit very well with me because they should be in their own area away from the reformed gang members. I mean, Tom Coombs is an ex-gang member and now I've just put a leader with him. Yes, I know that the danger that could... Uh, that, that The danger that uh, put that guy in. Um, we have a, a death here. And this is Sean Baker. It's been taken out by Adam. Do some guard response there. Large amount of contraband, field all, field all prisoners, field the prisoners. How strange. Feed the prisoners. And yeah, that's that's probably not an ideal place to visit when that's sort of happening. There's the other players, but at least. Evans here is not recruiting any other second in commands. And I've said to clean this graffiti. And already it's been put back. But at least if the only thing they're doing is putting in graffiti. Ah! Here we go. The canteen is working. However, not working as intended. Because if we check this. Oh! <laughs> it actually worked. As I wanted it to work. So I wanted it to be, top to bottom, Vipers, Bone Breakers, Jackals. But I hadn't got round to assigning them to it because it wasn't yet built. But just because of proximity, I think, that's exactly what's happened here. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so we're going to go over to Deployment and to Gang Segregation. So it will be the Jackals. No. Yeah, well, Jackals, Bone Breakers, and Vipers. That's not what I'm intended there so only oh well, it says choose which gangs are usually permitted to enter there this doesn't exclude non-gang members ideally we would have an area that was for just non-gang members but we don't have the space so yeah that is that is in that's working uh deployment is not messed up which is what i thought may happen which is excellent truth be told Things are working out. Don't really need that as max sec. Why do we keep it as max? Nah, we'll keep it as. I don't think it actually does anything, really. The way we're working on this one. Definitely need to do a shakedown. And I've just seen John Ellison there. I'm fairly sure... We saw them flash something. And I think it was the, um, I think it was a rope. It's kicking off. Oh, looks like Mark Platter has a screwdriver there. And Kevin Hunter is also fighting, as well as Andrew Ingham. Ingram? Ingham. Okay. One gang member versus two non-gang members. There's already people around. We don't need to assign anything there. All right. And there's the thing that uh, we found. To be expected. Tom Gilmer fighting Matt Edwards. CCTV is letting us know about this. So these CCTV cameras here are actively working on these ones anyway. So we don't really need to do much uh, on that regard. Um, this door stuff has been set up. So we can put those to the usual stuff. We just need to obviously connect them up. One and then two. So how many connections this has got? I'm going to guesstimate 18. 20. Just shy. Okay. It's fine. It is working. So that is okay. Because of these doors here, they just they slow people down. Oh. Looks like we've got a lot of guards coming to deal with this. That's Mark Stacey and Chris Cheer. 
Hmm. Okay, back to our policy, which is now a medium variety, medium meal. Quantity and variety, yeah. We now have this. Um, I'm tempted to have eat there. No, there. Free time either side. But straight away, I'm going to say... It would be nice to put sleep right across it. Because they leave and then they mingle out here. And it's that's where you can get some fights. So maybe having sleep right after the eat is the way to go. You could say yard time right after that, couldn't you? So they always they have to go to their... Well, they don't have to go to their yards. They have to go to a yard. But realistically, they're going to funnel out and go to the closest one. Which is those two... Oh, they might go to the middle. I'm not sure. Let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look. Uh, what am I looking for? Intelligence gangs. Ah, these are controlled all by the bone breakers, so maybe they won't go where I expected. Okay, I'll have a think about that one. I'm just going to change that back to free time, but certainly have the sleep there. Right, so that's all fine. I'm going to move these visitor double doors because I want them to... I want to have this section... This section as stuff only as well, but I don't want I don't want the cooks to go through one, two, three, four, five doors. I'd rather them just go through the, f <laughs> the four. It's it's enough. Um, right, I guess we'll do a shakedown all sectors. We also haven't done narcotic search. You know, a couple of people were mentioning about that. It's just something that I've not done. We've only done big searches. Off to objects and to the metal detectors are in. Two fridges and cookers. One, two, three, four. Insufficient. <clears throat> like more. I'd like more cookers. It would be nice. But we haven't had to take a loan out, which is a good thing. Large amounts of contraband. There's a tunnel! We found a tunnel. That's pretty that's a pretty decent tunnel as well. There, there, eh? <laughs> that's all out of uh, wall as well. So, yeah, that's all outside. No walls, no... No primitive fencing. That would have been dug in the next couple of days. I'm fairly confident. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just speed up to max. Let them crack on. Obviously, danger level is going to be flying up as we do this. Which is all to be expected. I'm going to double check our... Intelligence here. Confidential informants. Potential CI, Andrew Ingham. Recruit informant. And there we go. It says large amount. Just mainly ropes, but that's what they're using to escape because it is classed as a... Wow. Another tunnel. So two gangs have been digging. Is it gangs? I don't think it will be. Well, there's three non-gang members and two gang members. Who's to say that these tunnels, well, as they're digging through here, are not connected? Who knows? Let's remove that, though. But double tunnel. That is a double tunnel. Double tunnel and triple canteen is what we've got going here. <clears throat> Flooring. Just for clarity. I'm going to have that. Just to fix it up. Uh, objects. Phone booths. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Radio, which calmed people by all accounts. One there, one there. Um, one there, one there. Don't think that actually matters. Uh, one there, one there. Let's see if that does anything. So, 170 items of contraband found in the last, I think, seven days? Yes, seven days. And fridges going in. Danger level going down. Sprinkler systems are in. And 
cookers. Insufficient fundage. Oh, and big fight. Hmm. Sign people to that. Um, this will now be set wrong. Yes, it is. Uh, staff only, isn't it? And all of that. Yep, that's ex that's fine. That's acceptable. Um, assign armed guards to that section there, because that's we we did have one around there. All right, that seems to be pretty much fine. So happy with that. That's progress. We have. Evans in here. Haven't seen them recruit any other confidential, uh, other second in commands. There's only one here, second in command. So that's going to slow the gang progress down. Must confess, is difficult though, because if we just turn, if we essentially put them there and all gang activity stops, yes, we could call it a success, but also the whole point is to see the new DLC stuff, so I'm conflicted. Conflicted. But we can chop and change and see what the deal is. Either way, I've got to prioritise the removal of the tunnels because it really needs removing. Um, yeah, progress has been made. We can't get any more prisoners until they remove these tunnels. Just double check. Yeah, I have. I've definitely issued the order to remove the tunnels. Looks like Micah here. Oh, I've just had a tag sprayed on something hmm anyway progress has been made there's some therapy there breathe therapy I wonder if more ah I wonder if more of these um mats would be in order the gym mats do they need that let me just double check programs There's the tattoo removal program. Oh, and Evans is actually going through it on this one here. Let's see. Ah, looks like it's gone down. But maybe they're going through it again? Who knows? Right, uh, I was going to check. Sorry, programs. Breathe therapy. It just says, teacher in the yard. Can uh, students sit? Repeatable. Teacher requires a gym mat. So, yeah. Um... Gym mat. More. More. Okay, I can't, I can't afford the gym mats. Uh, <laughs> right, okay. We need more gym mats. But I'm going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of prison architect. Happy with the progress. Seems to be a little bit less violent with uh, Evans over here. But I don't like the, the fact that they're in the area earmarked and indeed used by ex-gang members. This is the one that was for... This is for ex-gang members and protective custody. Ideally. This one is for... Um, yeah, this one's for... I guess... Legendary prisoners, including gang leaders, etc. But as always, things are in a state of flux and we can always change things. We're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Prison Architect. Happy with the canteen. Seems to be working. Lots more things to chop and change and to keep an eye out for. But better. Better, I'd say. Hope you have enjoyed it. Comments in the comments as always. If you have any tips and suggestions, any recommendations for improvements, it'd be nice to hear. As always, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.